Following the downtown chaos, a frustrated Mayor Jones pointed an accusing finger at parents and others responsible for caring for kids. But one of those helping troubled youngsters says the problem goes much deeper than that. Fox 2 investigator Elliot Davis picks up our team coverage with their reaction. It's becoming an all too familiar sight these days. Downtown scenes of chaos, kids in violent confrontation. The most recent shooting, just one of a series of youthful clashes. A frustrated St. Louis mayor, Tashara Jones, lashed out in a weekend news conference. Downtown is not a 1 a.m. destination for your 15 year old. It's a rule I make very clear in my own household. And it's not a place to drop children off unsupervised. The head of Affinia Healthcare, Dr. Kendra Holmes, tells me the issue of problem kids goes a lot deeper. And you're saying a lot of kids don't even have parents. A lot of kids, unfortunately, with COVID-19, a lot of the seniors and the grandparents who were their caregivers were lost as a result of the virus. And those were caregivers providing that structure and that support and discipline that children need. The public has been galvanized by the image of massive downtown fights among kids. Affinia tries to address the needs of some of them with meals and help with mental and emotional distress. But the problem is just too big. But I think something that we do need to consider is the fact of how COVID, Im COVID impacted our children's mental health and also their caregivers. So particularly in the underserved communities, the black communities. She says not enough is being done to make up for the loss of grandparents. She says the situation is now more dire when you mix in the impact of drugs, alcohol and guns. Many of these children don't have parents. They don't have structure. They don't have individuals to tell them that is not the right thing to do. Also, what we need to do, Elliot, is we need to prevent. We need to provide resources and support and mental health services to prevent those kids from going down that road. Let me ask you this. Are we sending a strong enough message uh, to these kids? Should there be more punishment? Should we be sending more of them to prison? Uh, should we uh, you know, be prosecuting more of them? Is that the problem? Well, we've, we've prosecuted our way and we've incarcerated our way to this point and it's not effective. The city of St. Louis got a half billion dollars in COVID pandemic funds to try to deal with problems. One expert suggested to me that that should have been enough money to set up whatever programs were necessary to try to get a handle on issues facing troubled kids to try to avoid some of the chaos downtown. In downtown St. Louis, I'm Elliot Davis, Fox 2 News.